Hi everyone, my name is Madison Dudley. I'm a rising senior studying electrical engineering and computer science. I transferred to Northeastern from Clark Atlanta University through the S Power program, and I'm also involved with BEST, which is the Black Engineering Student Society, as well as SED, which stands for Students for the Exploration and Discovery of Space. And right now we're working on NASA's Big Idea Project to help them discover and explore the permanently shadowed regions of the moon. I chose to get involved with this summer's COVID-19 directed study with the business school because this is exactly what I wanted to do with my engineering degree. I wanted to take my technical knowledge of the sciences to be able to impact everyday lives. Right now we are a team of six students and our initial problem statement was we wanted to provide low cost ventilators for hospitals during this pandemic but after research and interviewing multiple medical professionals we decided that our efforts would be better geared towards creating a non-invasive solution that could possibly replace mechanical ventilators and remove the need to intubate patients during this time. I definitely recommend this course to engineering and non-engineering students alike when you're working with a device in the medical industry, diversity of experience and thought is so important so that you're developing a solution to a problem that's well-rounded and impacts um, the people that you're trying to help to the most high degree. I cannot wait to continue this project outside of the Summer One course and just continue to grow as not only an engineer, but a professional. My name is Dr. Stephen Goldman. I teach innovation and lean design and prototyping in the business school here at Northeastern University. My lean design class uses the design thinking process to empathize, define, ideate, prototype, and test the solution. During the summer one session this year, I had the honor of working with a cohort of six students, some business and some engineering. They sought to identify an area that we could make a difference in the medical world relative to COVID-19. The students met with a number of medical professionals, ranging from a member of the Governor's Council on Emergency Preparedness, to experts in respiratory care, right down to doctors and nurses that are currently working in COVID floors. They began by believing that the world needed a better ventilator. And through research, interviews, and experiments, they ended up determining that they could be much more effective in modifying a device called a BiPAP machine. It's a respiratory machine. In seven short weeks, Madison, Maddie, Meyer, Brandon, Thomas, and Kate developed, designed, and presented a solution to the folks that they had interviewed along the way. And they received a resounding approval for their work and encouragement to continue along with the development. Hi, I'm Maddie Reaver, and I'm working on a directed study to ideate, design, and prototype a product solution to provide relief in the COVID-19 crisis. I'm a rising fourth year electrical and computer engineering student and I transferred to Northeastern through the S Power program from Mass Bay Community College. I'm getting ready for my first co-op as an animatronics engineer at Hasbro beginning summer two. I was interested in participating in the COVID-19 directed study with Professor Golden because I feel very fortunate to have been given the opportunity to study engineering at Northeastern University. And I feel a responsibility to practically apply what I've learned to help people on a global scale. A typical day involves doing research on the challenges of the coronavirus pandemic not yet met by existing technology. This in involves reading about the respiratory system, reading about the technology in current use in emergency centers and the way it works, and interviewing medical professionals working on the front lines to determine what their needs are. As an engineering student, I'm mostly involved in the research of improvised solutions to the COVID-19 specific challenges faced by the medical community today. These improvised solutions include ventilators made from materials that are accessible despite supply chain disruptions, ventilators with sensors designed to respond to the unique characteristics of a COVID-19 infected patient, and breathing aid systems for at-home care, both before and after intensive care. 
This directed study has complemented my Northeastern experience by giving uh, me an opportunity to collaborate with the business school so I could learn the administrative side of making a new product. I'm learning what goes into product development and how to document and justify my intentions in a way that's concise. I will hopefully be able to apply that knowledge to future research projects.